global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, good people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today. The protest has entered the day two, but a lot of things are happening right now. Finger pointing here and the topmost in the list is what we said yesterday in a press conference that a particular senator was sponsoring the protest. How? Because according to him, that senator was giving food to the protesters, encouraging the protesters, and had also promised that the security agencies were going to pick up that senator for her or invite her for questioning over her involvement in sponsoring the protesters. Now, another video came up also and the video was about Peter Obi, that Peter Obi was also sponsoring the protest. They brought up a particular footage video saying that that video actually took place yesterday and Peter Obi was seen being involved in the protest. Now, Ereti is uh, the person most people suspect uh, that uh, uh, Wiki was talking about, you know. And, uh, you know, matching her with Peter Obi has been those sponsoring these uh, protests. I mean, it got a lot of people infuriated. Peter Obi has spoken, but Ereti too has decided to come up to address the issue and stating clearly what transpires. It has to do with that footage that is spreading and also where she is right now and where Peter Obi is right now. We're going to be looking at it because most Nigerians have decided also to pick up, you know, that particular discussion and talk expressly about it. I'm going to uh, read exactly what she wrote on one of her social media space. Senator Ureti Kingibe, who is the senator representing Abuja, this was what she had to say, said, I am shocked and outraged by the blatant lies and misinformation being spread by mischief makers. The video being circulated is from over six weeks ago during a Labour Party National Working Committee meeting when the, nation, the National or Nigerian Labour Congress was protesting outside the Labour Party office. As stakeholders, including senators, House of Rape members, and Mr. Peter Obi, we went out to engage with the protesters and address their concern. Now, these deceitful individuals are trying to pass off this old footage as current, claiming that Mr. At Peter Obi and I are leading protests in Abuja yesterday. This is malicious and desperate attempt to discredit us. Let me set the record straight. Mr. Peter Obi is not in Abuja and I haven't left my house since Wednesday due to illness, much less distributed food and water at the protest ground, though that would be noble for whoever did. I condemn this orchestrated attempt to spread falsehood and curse confusion, using it as a basis to claim I sponsored the Abuja protest. It is a shameless and irresponsible act that will not be tolerated. I will not stand idly by while our names and reputations are dragged through the mud by these unscrupulous individuals. Ireti Kingibe, senator representing the good people of FCT. A lot of people have reacted to it and someone here says one office of the Nigerian citizen is a dear Ireti, we case after your life. That's that and blah blah i don't want to read that because that's quite exciting another person here who had picked up the issue say what is wrong if you are leading protests and which is absolutely true and if everyone have the right you know to be involved in protests as long as it is peaceful uh, someone here said thank you for the clarification and we know their propaganda it will fail as usual another person here say abuja indigenous pro should protest and clamor for fct minister to be given to an indigenous we keep being minister of fct as a political compensation is totally bad for him to have the gods to constantly attack the highest elected person in abuja it's very appalling mm, this is very serious my colleague is in the house and i feel that uh, she will have one or two things to say about this particular trending issue because i must say that most nigerians are very infuriated about this development now looking at the situation on ground the finger pointing and all of that do you think that these two people are the ones sponsoring it or it is hunger and starvation that is sponsoring this whole stuff the english is very clear everywhere from southwest 
to, to north to north central to south south the english is the same the language remains one yeah oh being power bami yo i am hungry oh hunger day it's been the same and i don't think you need any finger pointed here if you've seen the numerous videos on social media you'll agree with me that they don't even need even if they will have any sponsor, unlike the previous um, protests in the time past where Professor Wale Shoika and the likes, uh, you know, championed it. We had the former Moses. president yeah. championed it. Even the present president championed it. There are videos of on online over and over years back where they championed it. Nigerians did not need anybody to lead this champion. Hunger is leading it. Some somebody said something. The guy told me two about two videos. One of them said that he didn't want to protest, but hunger drove him into the street. When he checked the spot, very empty, he joined the protest. Another person, when they paid him to go and do anti-protest, he got there and he, he, he his, his brain entered factory. He said he said actually he, he misquoted. This morning, just this morning, in the northern part, I think that's uh, uh, in uh, Kaduna or so, where they paid them. One one thousand and they should wear yellow polo and we say that, that there's no protest. They say which one thousand? One thousand is not even up to pure water. These are things that speaks for itself. Is this is no propaganda? And the two people they mentioned are the most two peaceful politicians oh I have ever seen in Nigeria in the history of Nigeria. Ireti Kingibe several times she has been so so pious, um, so calm, so her disposition is so motherly that even when somebody drags her out, you feel bad that she's not responding. Same thing. Isn't that the same Peter will be that Kenneth Okonko was literally dragging? That you are too sweet, they will lick you up. That's the same Peter will be now. Everybody is pointing fingers at. Why didn't they point at Tiko? Of course they will not because that one does not is not sweet enough to lick. You know, these are the things Kenneth Okonko was talking about. If you ask me, it's just plain propaganda. They just want them to talk. Mm -hmm. And well, it's good enough that Peter Obi is talking. And this is quite interesting because from all indication, um, Nigerians are proving themselves and they are trying to look for people to point out and all of that. I, I would always still re reflect back to the so-called project, Mr. Project, who claimed he had built heaven and uh, 21 billion naira. I won't forget that thing. 21 billion naira to build a resident for a vice president when Nigerians are hungry. At, what were you expecting doing all of that? What were you actually expect that people People will plow you that you built a house with 21 billion now who wouldn't build such a house and senator Kwabio will tell you uh, if you are for say i if you are nay, yeah, say nay. the eyes have it I, he wouldn't even allow the, the you, names to say it. do you understand eyes have it by and you're just approving and approving <laughs> and, and nigerians are watching in hunger you tell them be patient Change is coming. And he literally said some words that even made Nigerians more not happy, saying they can go ahead and protest while, oh, of course, yeah, he will be at home enjoying. Now, Those are not the most interesting part of this whole protest thing that uh, I, I would say should correct their brain and they should stop this pointing finger is even those that you have sponsored to go out there and defend you have watched more than three videos where they give people they went there with no protest three of them they keep saying that they as we are here yes no protest but gary has gone for 200 naira a cup how can we sit down and be keeping quiet as we are carrying this protest we have suffered enough uh -uh. okay you are saying no protest why are you carrying card and all of that? Just to show you that they were paid to do that. One was there, they, they called him to defend uh, the Bolamet Tinibu's government. They say their policies are okay, okay, and they are doing a lot of things. I tell us the policies I like. You know, they have uh, increased uh, fuel price, but we are really suffering. But you know, we are suffering, and, and I was like, <laughs> these are the people. They'll show you that they don't have anything to say. Because if you go and meet a common man and say, go and defend us. They've got nothing to say. The other smart dudes who have stolen and their eyes are already fixed on the money. They can rub a lot of things and claim that they are defending the government. However, I feel that this few points of irritation should be enough to exonerate her and Peter B from whatever that is happening. We know the sponsors of the current uh, protest. It is hunger, starvation, bad leadership, bad government. I mean, misappropriation of fund, corruption, name it. It's countless. And evil Ametinibu will happen to the voice of the people. This protest will come to an end in a shorter time than he least expected, and that is to reverse some of the policies he has made, which is outrightly 
unto people. That's where we like to leave it. Let's